today's Would You Rather is, would you rather walk two miles with a sharp rock in your shoe, which is Asti's position, or run half a mile with shin splints, which is Bubbles' position? Go for it, Asti. It's not that bad uh, walking with a small rock in your shoe. Uh, you can walk on the size of your shoes. Um, you know, you know how it is. You can maneuver your feet in such a manner to uh, get around the pain. It's not that bad. Shin splints, on the other hand, uh, if left untreated, they can lead to stress fractures, which is terrible. Uh, it takes a long time to heal. It's painful. <sighs> Man, if you walking with a rock in your shoe. You do the two miles, you take the rock out, everything's fine. You're over it. It feels good even not to have the rock in your shoe. Shin splints, you've got that pain for like one, two weeks. I would rather run the half a mile with shin splints because running a half a mile, you're, it's only going to take you about four or five minutes to run that through. Having shin splints for that amount of time is not going to cause any serious pain. You're not going to have pain for more than a day. If that, if you do... You ice them, heat them, they go away, you have no problem with that. If you're walking two miles with even the smallest of the sharpest rock in your foot, that's 30 minutes of walking. It takes the average person 15 minutes to walk a mile. You don't know where that rock has been. It could have all of these sorts of contaminated things in there and getting into your blood could, sharp rock will penetrate the skin. Getting into your blood will cause all sorts of diseases. 30 minutes of taking that rock out and then going to a hospital to get that taken care of or just getting any kind of solution on that can cause a serious infection. And, you know, you're not going to, probably not going to lose a limb or anything like that, but you're going to have an infection. You're going to have to probably go get a tetanus shot if you're not up on your shots. It will be very painful and it will take a while to recover from. Shin splints are much worse because it's chronic. When you run again, they're going to come back. And it's just going to get worse and worse. Sure, okay, the off chance that the tiny rock in your shoe is going to give, um, give you an infection, small possibility, probably, then, yeah, you wash it with solution. Maybe, in extreme cases, you have to get a tetanus shot. But then that's it, that's done. You're, it's over with. Shin splints, they hurt worse. Uh, it's chronic, and it could lead to more serious things like the stress fractures. You're off your feet. You're off your feet for weeks. <laughs> if you're going to take it to the extreme, yes, you would be off your feet. But running for a half a mile for four or five minutes with shin splints isn't going to be anything chronic. Usually, most runners that get shin splints... You'll have them for a few minutes and you'll run right through them. It's not something that you're guaranteed to have every single time you run. Every runner gets them. Being a runner myself for three years on the cross country and track team, I had them myself. You run through them, you push through it, you become stronger from the pain. And it's, I've never heard of anyone that has had serious problems with shin splits. There are all sorts of diseases that can come, you know, that. A rock might have been in some rat's nest, again, going to an extreme, as Asti was doing, of chronic disease, of chronic shin splints, of death. But anything can kill you if you want to take it that far. But, again, four or five minutes. I was a slow runner. I could run, you know, a mile, no problem, in eight minutes, four minutes at the most, versus 30 minutes. Switching the rock to different places in your foot, walking a half a mile, you'll probably, or walking two miles, you're probably going to give yourself shin splints anyways because you're walking funny. So then you are walking with a rock in your foot and with shin splints anyways. So you can uh, rearrange the position of the rock in your shoe. Uh, doesn't hurt as much as shin splints. Shin splints can lead to a chronic condition. Rock in your shoe, as soon as it's done, it's done. And it feels good to have it over and done with. Running for a half a mile with shin splints, it's over in four minutes, five tops. You're still going to enjoy being done running. It's not going to hurt. You can, it's not always chronic.